Fairlight is an audio workspace buried in DaVinci Resolve, and when mastering audio in the Fairlight page, one of the most important things you can use is Dynamics. Double-clicking the Dynamics page exposes a set of dynamic settings with controls corresponding to an expander or gate, a compressor, and a limiter. These can be used separately or in concert to manage the dynamics of the audio on that particular track. When you enable whatever combination of dynamics controls you need for that track, the dynamics graph updates with curves that show you how the signal is being affected by the settings that are being applied. The dynamics button on the channel strip also displays these curves, giving you an additional indicator as to what's happening in that channel. These indicators cannot be adjusted and you must open the dynamics window to make modifications. Once open, the dynamics window contains a few overall controls at the top of the window. The enable button turns overall dynamics effect on and off. To reset all controls to their default, you use the reset button. There is a drop-down menu that has several useful dynamic presets available. You can create, change, and save presets and use default presets as an excellent starting point for your track's specific needs. A post dynamics level controller lets you boost the signal to compensate for the dynamic setting that may have lowered the output level. The first of three sets of dynamic parameters can be switched between expansion and gating. Expansion emphasizes the difference in volume by lowering the level of soft parts of the signal and can be used to minimize noise while increasing the dynamic range. Alternatively, gating reduces the level or even silences part of the signal that fall below a certain threshold in order to reduce or eliminate noise in quiet parts of the recording. The expander button lets you enable the controls and switch them to perform expansion. Within these controls, the threshold sets the signal level below which the gain reduction occurs. The ratio is the gain reduction ratio that's applied to the signal that falls falls below that threshold level, and the attack adjusts how quickly the sidechain detector will apply an expansion when a signal exceeds the threshold. The hold function keeps dynamics from being triggered again until a certain amount of time has passed, and release adjusts how quickly the sidechain detector stops applying dynamics when the signal drops below the threshold. The gate button lets you switch the controls to perform gating. Under this, the threshold sets the signal below which gain reduction occurs. Range sets the maximum amount of gain reduction that will be applied when the signal falls below the gate threshold. Once the signal has fallen below the level determined by the gate threshold, minus the gate range, no gain reduction is applied. Finally, the attack, hold, and release settings function identically to how they did with the expander. The second set of dynamics parameters lets you apply compression, which detects the envelope of an audio signal in order to automatically change its level. This typically used to detect and reduce the peaks of an audio signal so that the overall level can be boosted without clipping, thus reducing the dynamic range of the given signal. There are several controls that allow you to adjust the amount of compression per channel. There's a button that lets you globally enable or disable compression. The threshold sets the signal level above which the compression is enabled. The ratio adjusts the compression ratio, which is the gain reduction ratio applied to the signal, which rises above the threshold level. Attack adjusts how quickly the sidechain detector applies compression when a signal exceeds the threshold. After the attack phase, has been completed, the hold parameter again controls how long the initial attenuation is maintained before the release phase. Release adjusts how quickly or gradually the sidechain detector stops applying dynamics when a signal goes below the threshold. Enable send when you want to use these audio levels of the currently selected track to attenuate those of another track using sidechain compression. And enable the listen function when you want to use the audio levels of tracks that you enabled send to attenuate the levels of the current currently selected track. If there are no tracks with send enabled, then the current track is compressed as usual. The third set of dynamics parameters lets you apply limiting, which imposes a hard limit on the maximum level allowed for a particular signal. Per usual, a button lets you enable or disable limiting, and you can adjust the threshold, attack, hold, and release. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and check out this playlist.